Okay, uh, we're in the middle of our grizzly testing, but we'll shoot another little video showing you how to put the fuel controller on, because I know a lot of people are always confused about how to get it on, so we're going to show you how quick and easy it is. Um, four bolts I already took out before I thought about shooting the video. Yeah, one here, one down here on the inner fender, same thing on the other side. Okay, they're just 10 mil. Pop them out. I usually throw everything in a handy dandy little box. Unhook these tubes right here. These tubes over here. You see it? Pull them down, lay them to the sides. Okay, we gotta get these inserts here popped out. Well, the rubber inserts and everything aren't working. They're just not fixed like the old ones. Okay. This thing just lifts up. Then you gotta put the shifter back. Okay, we got the bolts out of the inner fenders on each side. This will just pop up. That'll pop up. Okay, we'll get a new 10 mil. See that bolt? Ten mil there. Slide back out of there. Okay, figure injector. Controller. I'm just gonna pull one off the of 16 there to see what happens to start with. Okay. This is just a piggyback controller. This is a ground terminal, not a power terminal. You usually will want to feed the wires down through first. I guess it depends where you want to keep your controller. You know, if you want to keep it in the box, you want to feed it from here. If you want to keep it up front, feed it from here. You know, there's a pretty good length lead. You can put it wherever you want. You just gotta choose. We'll push these. Okay. Unplug the stock injector. Okay. I know we get confused on this sometimes. Um, I think this is how it should be. So you got red with a blue wire, red with a black. I'm just referencing this more for me than you guys. You don't got to worry about it. But that's the side that they're going to be on. Sometimes they get mixed matched and it causes issues, but not usually. Okay, we're going to do a ground wire. Um, I'm going to ground this right here for now. Probably the battery is the best shot. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing any other testing, but I'm just going to make a simple ground. You want a good, reliable ground. You don't want ground going to a plastic. I mean, you could put it here if you wanted to, but I would suggest here, if, the, if that don't sit on it or up there to the battery, you want a good motor ground. If you don't have a good ground... A bunch of issues down the road. Okay. Let's stick of 
this back on. Good to run now. Yeah. It's installed. It's that quick and easy. Reverse assembly. Uh, one thing when you one thing when you put it back together, which I'll have in the instructions, I generally like to keep my tuners in here. So I'll cut a little slit right here. That way the wires can lay in there and when the lid shuts, it don't cut the wires. Uh, you probably want to do that before you put it back in. If you're keeping it up there, you ain't got to worry about it. But um, I like them in here so I can get to them easy and mess with them. Other than that, that's just a segment of the video that how to install the tuner.